Thanks for joining us in the next installment of this series. And before we go any further, if you're new to this channel, then this is for you. If you aren't, then you already know how we do it here. If you're uncomfortable looking at nude plastic parts of dolls, then you probably don't want to finish watching this video. If not, then we're going to keep going. You've been disclaimed, okay? So in order to remove his pants, I had to take his feet off and they just pop right off but you do have to wiggle them around a bit to get them off for the feet and I kind of am scared of how fragile the feet sometimes the pegs seem like they are see because I don't know I just don't want them to snap so I try to be very careful with them but I wish that integrity would include extra feet along with the hands that would be really cool let's jump right into it and talk about these guys body structures Okay, so all three of these dolls are Integrity Toys dolls, and this one and this one have the same body type. This one and this one, they look a little bit different to me. The structure of the bodies look a little different. His chest plate is definitely very different looking. This one actually looks a little bit wider, and he's a little bit more slim in the chest plate. And you can see that there's a little more detail in this one. They shaded the nipples, so that it's not just a flat color. There's, it's like dimension there because of that. His are also textured as in that it's coming away from the flat chest here. See, it's like poking out so you could see it through his clothes, but they're very tiny and there's no color there. So the shading, that's new. You can see that the abs are also very different looking. I feel like his are a little bit more pronounced, even though the shape is very similar but definitely the abs are way more pronounced on this guy and his are like barely there and then you can see that the crotch is actually different too because his is way more pronounced you can actually see like an imprint whereas this one is more closer to like how Barbie does it there's a little tiny 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 little smidgen of a bulge there but you can't really see it that well and but this dude if he had some tight pants on or underwear you're definitely gonna see something the legs look pretty identical, but I do see that Dalpinder's calves are much bigger. There's way more meat on his bones when it comes to the legs. Wow, they're very different looking. So the thighs here seem a little thicker, a little more width, and his are kind of more streamlined looking at the top. This one looks more muscular. And then we've got a bit of a difference in the way that their butts are shaped. The structure of the bones look a little bit different on each doll. His is more pronounced in the spine, the little wrinkles and muscles, I can see them a lot better than this one. Even though they're both pretty muscular looking, he's just a lot more pronounced with all of the little curves. They both have a plate in the chest so they can move their chest back and forth. However, Delpinder's looks to me like it's shorter and his looks a little longer like this way. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about the chest plates because for him, he can barely even move his chest back and forth. See, it's very little mobility here and it's actually longer here in the back. The back portion actually comes down farther than the front does, so it's almost like it's stopping it from moving. Yeah, he can move side to side a little bit better, but definitely up and down back and forth is a challenge for him it's like he might as well not even have that plate and then with him I can move him quite more of a distance he has more range of motion than the other doll does for the chest plate part he can go backwards too the only problem with this is that because the plate is so short in the front and the back look at this huge gaping cavity you can just see oh my god that looks horrible wow what happened here that makes me very concerned about how much that plate can be used especially if he's not wearing a shirt and the same happens here in the back if you move it forward all the way there's a bit of a hole there and you can kind of see the darkness of the inside of the vinyl that's alarming for the price of these dolls i don't even want to have to worry about something like that 
So there's a big design flaw here, unless it's just my doll that has been strung together in such a way that those parts are just gaping like that. Any of you have this doll or his brother who should have the exact same type of body, leave me a comment and tell me if you noticed that on your doll too, cause I think that's really bizarre. If that's the only way for the chest plate to be able to be moved, then I don't see the use in having a plate like that in the chest because I'm not gonna miss it if it's not there since it's already not working properly anyway. The height of these guys are about 13 inches or so. They're a little taller than a Ken doll. This is my made to move Ken and he is very short compared to these guys. And I love that having the illusion of tall bodies for our boy dolls. A few things that I'm seeing that I wish was different about these dolls. I wish they had double joints instead of just single joints because I'm very spoiled by Mattel's made to move bodies and especially now that we have boys with made to move bodies, like the pressure is really really on to impress me when it comes to articulation. So I don't even expect that level of articulation on most other companies dolls. But because these dolls are very high priced, um, this one I think retails at about $175. I feel like it would just be a nice touch for them to develop some type of joints that could be uh, double jointed, especially in the arms. If the legs aren't, I wouldn't cry about that. But the arms and the upper body, which people photograph the most and use to express different emotions with the dolls, I think it would be so much more useful to have double joints in the elbows at the very, very least. That would be like so worth it to spend the money that we're spending on these dolls. Just the craftsmanship and the beauty of the dolls don't quite, like I would forgo some of that just to have the articulation because I can make my dolls more beautiful. They don't have to already come so beautiful if that makes sense. <laughs> and a lot of us adult collectors do end up customizing our dolls to some degree. So I think that would just be a lot more helpful to have something like that. My other thing about these dolls is I wish that they came with a second outfit. That would so justify spending almost $200, sometimes more, retail for these dolls. And their clothes are just so exquisitely made. It's like such a treat to have fashion royalty and Terry Toys clothes in your collection. So being able to have just an extra piece, like maybe an extra top or a jacket or something to come along with the dolls other than what they're already wearing, that would be stellar. They do have some dolls that come with extra fashions, of course. They're not the standard dolls. They're like a little bit more pricey and it, it's not done all the time. So I just think that that would be great if they just by standard came with more um, clothing. But I do love all the realistic accessories. Another thing I would change specifically about this guy is his shoes. Although the construction of the shoes are very beautiful, very realistic. It's almost too realistic for the scale because you really have to struggle to get the shoes on and off. And don't nobody got time for that when we are trying to pose our dolls, take pictures of them, um, have them be our actors in our different stories that we're telling. Nobody has time to fidget with this stuff. And it's so beautiful that you do want to capture it on camera. But if it's not functional, then it's meaningless. That's just how I look at it and I don't want to be fidgeting with my dolls, especially in this tiny of a scale, any more than I need to. So I would have said a better design for these shoes would be a plus. But nonetheless, overall, I really like the doll and I'm so glad that we added him to our collection. I'm really interested to see how he's gonna look in some different clothes than what he came in. So I'm gonna give him an outfit change so we can- All right, let me tell you what I did with him. I actually give him a quick wash so that all that gel is no longer in his hair and I like his hair much better without the gel. It seems more lively and easier to brush and style so I'm gonna have fun experimenting with his hair and this is also another reason why I chose this one over his brother to order because if I could only pick one I'd rather have this one because he has the rooted hair that I can style whereas his brother does not. I think his hair is flocked. I think he looks so much cooler without all that gel, making his hair really stiff. He has a side part. I tried to fix the earring. I put the actual hoop itself into the ear hole to see if that would do something and it did work but the earrings are not sitting on his face exactly the same way on each side. So 
Right now, you can't really tell the difference because his hair covers it up. But if I really wanted to make them symmetrical, I'd have to literally break the, the, the stub on the other one just so that it will sit in his ear hole the correct way um, to look identical to the other side. But that was my quick fix without having to make him a whole new set of earrings right now. I do want to point out that Integrity Toys male dolls do not have any pivot motion in their necks, which makes it very difficult for you to pose them with certain expressions like Barbie dolls can. See how I can make his head move on the neck joint without just going side to side like this, which is very boring. I love that Barbie dolls you can do this with, but for whatever reason, the joints in the Integrity Toys male dolls are not like this. Again, I get it. They're aesthetically very beautiful, but for the price that people are paying for these dolls, I feel like maximum mobility would make so much more sense in justifying the high prices for these dolls. So all three of my Integrity Toys dolls right now are wearing some of our designs that we've added to our doll wardrobe. This is our quarantine panda design. I'm saying our like I drew it. No, it's not me. I did not draw this stuff, you guys. My son Jinu draws. He's been doing it since he was a kid, but I didn't realize how awesome his talent was until just recently. So he made me this really special graphic that says Grail on it. And it's basically got like a crown sitting on like one of those royal pillows or something. So cute. And then he also has this graphic that he made of like a Korean, old school, ancient Korean. Uh, I don't even know what you call this, like a nobleman. This is how they used to dress. And it says Nu Jin Wangjo on the side here in Korean. My son's translation of his brand into Korean and it just means Nujin Dynasty. I really love them in these clothes because it makes the boring plain clothes kind of pop a little bit and I just wanted to see how they would look in casual styles than what they came in. Um, except for him, his clothes weren't dressy when I got him. You know, they're very fitted, very tight and I love the craftsmanship but sometimes I just want my guys to look like they're just hanging out not going somewhere special. So I feel like we're getting that vibe with some of these graphics that I'm getting Jinu to do for us. I want to show you that the belt that came with him fits inside of these holes in these other pants that I've gotten him in. And they fit all the way around. I just wanted to show you guys that. And then I chose this black shirt for him to kind of camouflage those little black pieces that are poking through his um, armpits from his stand. I'm probably going to end up giving him a different stand later, but for now this is okay. These guys, these two guys are very serious looking. This one, he's really not. He looks kind of friendly. He has a smile on his face even though it's very subtle, but these guys just look so serious, <laughs> which I love and that's why I like to put them in these clothes with like a little bit more laid backness because I think it kind of makes them seem more human and less like a drill sergeant and i like the contrast of their serious expressions with like the cool cartoony designs speaking of designs here's my bmr guy and he's actually wearing some custom pants that my son did for him and they're basically just sweatpants with like a dragon snake type thing right on the side of his pants. Yeah, so if you like these designs, I want you guys to check out all of the cool merch that we have available. All of the icons are right below the screen in the description box. So if you click on any of the images there, they will take you right over to our merch shop. You can see all the cool designs that my son Gino has been working on to provide graphics and images for our Dolly fans. So I'm really happy to be able to share that with you guys as well as coming soon, custom clothing for our dolls as well so we can match with our doll. And one last thing about this guy, his bracelet comes with these little strings poking out of them. And these strings can actually be lengthened and shortened at will. So be careful because at the tightest setting, it's still kind of loose. See how it comes down far on his hand? I can actually pull it right off and you don't have to remove his hands to get that thing on and off. But if you pull these strings apart too far, even though there's knots at the end, I think they will just come right out. And then I don't know how you would restring this so you could close it back up again. So I really suggest being careful with that and not messing with it too much. And if you're curious about skin tones compared to a Barbie doll, 
This is what he looks like next to them. And this skin tone is like the Nikki skin tone. It's like a medium brown. They're all about the same complexion, the three on the left. You might be able to get away with this body for them. They'll be shorter and you do have to heat their heads in order to get them off because they won't just pop off. But it may be worth it if you feel like you really need the articulation. So if you have a few of these handy, then I would suggest trying it out because they look very, very close in complexion. You might even be able to get away with replacing the hands with their hands. I don't know. I've never tried to interchange hands between Barbie and Integrity, but I mean, you can try it. That's it for this video. So we're going to go ahead and exit because it's going to be Poppy's turn to get deboxed. She's so gorgeous and I can't wait to get her out of here. I'll see you in the next one. My name is Gypsy and you're watching Broken Dolly TV. Have a dolly day. I won't repeat myself all over.